In this video, I want to talk about the uh, label printing scale by CAS. Uh, what you see here specifically is the model LP1000N. And you might be running into this issue where you got the scale uh, from Amazon or what have you, uh, and you're trying to set it up, right? But you're getting, you keep getting error one. And if you look at the manual here, so I'm using the manual book, right? Uh, that looks like this, there's the manual. And error one indicates that you have no item set up. But for all intents and purposes, you have, right? So here, error one, clue number you have entered does not exist. And so how do you validate that it is not you that's doing something wrong? It is possibly the case that you have a scale that's not working. Uh, and why do we say that right now, especially, right? So there are, there, there's a lot of these scale units that's recently been sold uh, that will have faulty chips in them. And these chips affect memory retention in a way that you would create these items on a scale, but then when you try to pull it up, it would tell you that it's not there. But you can see that it is. Uh, now, that particular scale right here is not faulty, so you'd have to kind of use a bit of imagination here with me, but let me show you a couple of things. When you go to one mode, and you're on PLU, like that, you can click on the press, uh, on the print button here, and it'll give you this number, right? So. If it's a number that's less than 4,000, then theoretically you have items set up on your scale. Let's say your number shows 39.99. That means you have one item set up on your scale. And if that item then is not pulling up, you might have a memory issue. Um, so how would that issue manifest itself? Right, so let's just kind of get out of this mode here. Um, yeah. All right, and the way that the issue would, man again, this scale right here does not have this problem. Um, so, but basically you'd click one, two, and at this point you'd get the error one, all right? Uh, error one pop up. And so if that's the case, then you have a problem with your scale. Uh, it wouldn't do this, certainly. It wouldn't pull up an item, A bones, for example and give it a, you know, a price per unit. And so if you are not able to get past this screen and you're doubting whether or not you've created the item properly, well, let's just kind of go through this together, right? So one mode, and here's our clue. We're gonna press print, and let's just get like a random number uh, 300, right? So we're going to work on a clue number 300. I'm gonna press print. It's gonna ask me for I code. I'm gonna press print. I'm gonna say 300 for iCode. I always make iCode the same as my PLU number, okay? Name, name doesn't matter. We're just gonna go with uh, print, ASDF, yeah? Press print, message number. Uh, we're gonna pick number 300. So message number, PLU number, and item code, I always make the same. Um, price. I'm gonna make it 20, uh, let's go ahead and press enter, $25, like that, press print. We're not gonna mess with life, I'm just gonna press print uh, to get through all of these. We're not gonna put group code or nothing else for that matter, so there's the save, I press print one more time, and it saves the item and gives me this print. So, I've just programmed pool number 300 by hand. And after programming pool number 300 by hand, if after that you go, uh, let's just go to see. I'm going to pull up my pool like this. Right, there it is. I, I just keep pressing the pool. So let me do it again so you can see it. Three, zero, zero, pool. Right, and so it works for me. It pulls it up and it gives me my ASDF item. Now, if you do 300 PLU and it gives you error one and you've just finished programming the item 300, you have a faulty memory chip. You might as well call back your dealer and initiate the RMA process. Thank you.